So I am guessing most people are focusing on farming for the new territory battles. Which, by the way, I thoroughly enjoy. I love the new Gene Ocean territory battles. It's something that I love that's been added to the game because... It, okay, first of all, it's really hard, which can be almost too hard at times. It's frustrating even with a gear 13 team. Um, you struggle, but they spend a lot of time storytelling in it. If so, so what I mean by that is that they, you know, from phase one to phase four, you you go through certain battles that um, replicate what happened in the Attack of the Clones movie, and that's really cool. Uh, and then you add certain troopers in there. Uh, that are in from the Clone Wars TV series, like Pons. Pons was in there, which is very cool. I hope he gets added to the game. By the way, Clone Trooper Medic that has a revive, I think he would be. that would be really cool if he was added. L let's make Clone Troopers... Okay, first of all, let me digress just a little bit. We're going to take a look here at the clones. And Shock T lead, okay, as you can see, I, I have to get her geared more and starred more, but Shock T lead with Fives, Clone Sergeant, Cody, and... Rex is, I want to use Echo, but I need that tenacity up with Rex for some reason. I just, ugh. and it's a dispel as well. I've tried it many ways, especially in uh, Grand Arena. I do much, much better with Rex. And I can take this clone team with a shock T lead. And again, she's not very strong in against quite a few teams and win on offense. And that's a lot of fun. What's going to make it even better? What's going to make it a great defensive team? What characters are going to be added for that? Like I said, there's pawns. You can add heavy. And I think if we can increase the damage output a little more... Well, let's put it this way. There's a few few things we can do. Right now, the clones have great support with assists and stuff like that. Okay, I think we can really take that to the next level. Where clones are assisting at all times. You know, they assist a lot the way it is. But I, I'm talking... Full-time assist, every clone, because, you know, they're they're a battle unit. They're used together. You know, when you, when you play with the droids and you play with the B1 battle droid and, and the droid to cut, there's a, in, in Grievous, there's tons of assists that's going on. And I'm not saying there's not as many with clones or there's, you know, uh, there's not a lot with clones, but we can have even more. What is going to take clone troopers to the next level? Now, I do not expect them to be meta-defining. The other thing with Shakti, talking about her as a character, is I have seen a lot of Padme teams that replace Ahsoka with Shakti, and they actually work. I, you know, I don't have her a gear 12, 13, 7 stars, so I continue to use Ahsoka. But what clones do you think are going to be added to the game? I know I've asked this question in the past, but now that we're getting closer and closer to uh, the light side territory battle release, let me know what you think. And I am slowly putting gear 12 pieces on these guys one because i love clones the way it is uh i love their characters and stuff like that by the way if you play battlefront 2 uh and you know they added the clone wars and stuff and um capital supremacy is the new game mode and you go in and when you're the clones you hear rex's voice you know from the clone wars tv series and, and when he's in rebels and you almost get goosebumps because you're like this is fun i feel like i'm going into battle here capital supremacy is an amazing game mode I played one the other night that literally lasted like an hour and a half because we kept getting to the ship. They kept beating us on the ship. And then when I get to play as an ARC trooper, I'm fantastic. So if you don't play Battlefront 2, think about it because I've had a lot of fun with that lately. So what clones can they add? Because if we take a look at Separatists here, you know, I'm really focusing on dark side uh, or on territory battles in general here. What other Separatist characters are they going to add? You know, I, I don't, I, there's a few I can maybe think of. First of all, I want Django Fett to be labeled a Separatist. Please give him Separatist um, synergy. You could run him with the with the Count Dooku team and the Gunray team somehow. Brood Alpha, by the way, as you can see, I'm very close to getting him to seven stars, which I cannot wait. And I'm work, working on getting all my Gene Oceans leveled up, which, by the way, also helps me. I keep saying leveled up. I meant gear up. I say that all the time. Also helps me huge, hugely in um, Territory Wars uh, for the team right now because they give me a whole other fleet option. I can run these Gene Ocean ships with Tarkin and I can have them at gear 11 and they still do very well. So, and then Watt Tombar, there's been a few people that have, unlo that have unlocked him and have his gameplay. Um, obviously, I have four shards, which is better than none. Thank you to Toot and Sh uh, Shiruk. I always say it's Shiruk. Um, he's amazing, guys. Um, uh, you know, no, I'm, I'm not going to show his roster right now. That's that, that's private to him. Uh, but going back to Separatists, you know, who, 
what other separatist people could be added and really unless the clone wars tv series comes out and or when it when it when they add on the new seasons and they add new characters um i don't know because right now off the top of my head i know there's a I, i'm missing a few people in my head in the comment section please let me know what other separatist characters should be added but i doubt they're going to be added now i think we had the brood alpha uh the newt gunray re rework some of the reworks that we had uh, and then Watt Tambor added. And then we go to Galactic Republic. And as I mentioned in yesterday's uh, video, Ki Adi Mundi. Uh, we have Shock T. You know, Adi Gallia, she's not really, she doesn't really take place as much here in the territory battles. Um, but I would absolutely love for Plo Koon and Kit Fisto as well. But Plo Koon's probably my favorite. I've, I've said this before, okay? I, I don't mean to repeat myself for those of you that are new to the channel. Um... The Clone Wars TV series, Plo Koon is my favorite character in the TV series. He is a total BA, <laughs> you know, prolong that if you know the, if you know what I mean. And oh, I think my favorite episode is in season two when him, when Mace and Anakin get injured by the assassination attempt by um, Aura Singh and Bosk and uh, young Boba. And then him and Ahsoka go to... Uh, Florum, Hondo's stronghold, and he just, he's just amazing, and there's a scene there that I watch over and over again where he flips the table and stuff like that, but anyway, please give him a rework and make him more powerful, I would love to have, what's another Jedi lineup that we can have to help us in Grand Arena, Territory, now I'm not saying, maybe, maybe this could be meta if they're going along with the Jedi Council, which is extremely powerful, yes, but we have a, you know, Jedi Knight Anakin, Ahsoka, General Kenobi, they're going to be used with Padme, okay? If we're looking at uh, distinct teams being used, um, not necessarily for arena, but for Grand Arena Territory Wars, um, Padme, General Kenobi, Jedi Knight Anakin, Ahsoka, th those three right there, and then you can maybe throw in Zeta Barris, unless they add a new character, you can throw 3PO uh, in there as well. Those three Jedi are going to be used there, okay? Now, uh, Grandmaster Yoda is going to be used in a Jedi Knight Revan team. That could, ch I think that could change a lot more easily than flipping out Kenobi, Anakin, and Ahsoka from a Padme team. Because Jedi Knight Revan is a little bit older team. It's a great team, but you know, you can, you're going to be taking General Kenobi and Yoda, Grandmaster Yoda, out of that lineup. Who else do you add to that lineup? Something you have to figure out. Juhani, I think, is one of them. Um, then you'd have to maybe T3 would be another one, something you'd have to figure out. I'm not sure, but let's talk about another Jedi uh, lineup we could formulate. Mace Windu, going to get a rework, okay? Is it confirmed? No, it's confirmed in my heart, though, okay? It's confirmed in my heart that he's going to get a rework and become much better. My first seven-star character of the game, I was so pumped when I didn't know anything, and he, he's awful. But Qui-Gon Zeta lead is still a great lead. Um, I shouldn't say great. It has the potential to be great again. Because if you go in and you, he was one of my first Zetas as well because he helped me complete all of the light side battles. Agility training. Uh, Jedi allies have plus 30 speed, big, gain offense equal to three times their speed, big, and gain foresight for two turns at the start of each encounter and whenever an, any unit is defeated. Foresight is huge. Um, I actually find success with a Qui Gon Jinn team against a Night Sister team at times as well. Uh, against some other Talzin team and stuff like that. I, I I can probably find some footage of that. But anyway, where's Zeta Barris going to fit in? I think she could fit in with this team right here. Um, I don't like it because I don't like Barris. Uh, I mean, I like her in the game, but I don't like her character. Um, you have Qui-Gon, Kit, Barris, uh, Ayla. If we're going to go strictly a Clone Wars TV series Jedi team, um, I don't know which lead they would use. But you would have Plo Koon, Kit Fisto, Ayla Sakura, Luminara Unduli, and Barriss Afi. Luminara is the master of Barriss. Uh, and then Ayla, Plo Koon, Kit Fisto. That is, you know, th those guys are, except for Barriss, are Jedi Council members during the Clone Wars. I think if you give those guys a rework somewhat, I'm not saying massive, but give those characters a bunch of synergy together, you can form another good Galactic Republic Jedi team that is going to help you throughout all aspects of the game. I'm not talking meta-defining. You know, in the sense that I'm not talking another Darth Revan team. I'm talking another, you know, one of the uh, best teams in the game. I'm not saying best by, I mean, powerful. Uh, the Karth team with the Karth Zeta, Mission Zeta, Zalbar Zeta, they are a fantastic defensive team. 
and that you can use them on offense too. They're 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 hard to beat. Make them like that, where you know they're a third string, maybe second string team that are able to compete against the the other second and third string teams. Bounty hunters, Kylo Ren and Mass, maybe be a little better than them. Um, I'm a gun guy and Eth Koth. Yeah, they were also part of the council as well. Uh, I'm a gun guy. I don't know if he was. He was in one episode, uh, and ergo why his name is I'm a gun guy. It they literally wanted to make it sound like I'm gonna die <laughs> because he did on Ryloth defending the Twi'lex. Uh Supply lines is the name of the episode. Season three, episode three or five. One of those two. Anyway, and then Eth Koth, yeah, well, he, 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 Eth Koth actually has an amazing storyline. He leaves the Jedi Order between, between episode two and episode three, and he becomes, uh, he gets married, becomes like one of the preachers of the forest or like a priest of the forest, and Vader eventually kills him as Darth Vader in his suit later on. So what Jedi team can they formulate? What other characters could they add? I mean, I forgot about Shock T. Can she be thrown into one of these Clone Wars lineups too if we get another clone? I doubt that you're going to find a better clone leader than Shock T because of her her abilities are based off of clone troopers. Clone trooper allies have plus 35 speed, huge, uh recover 5% health protection, and then Galactic Republic allies in general have 15% max health, 5% max protection, and 15% offense for each clone trooper ally. So you're using this specifically with clone trooper allies because this is going to increase tremendously with clone trooper allies. You know, so I'm not going to throw her into another lineup. I know she works because of some of her, um, you know, she can cleanse and, and assist and stuff like that. But all of these are based off of clone allies, and it's because she was the uh, Jedi Master in charge of clone training on Kamino throughout the Clone Wars. So that it, it makes perfect sense why she fits there. Um, but will they add another clone? You know, will you be able to go Cody? I think Cody and Fives are going to, are going to be there for sure. I love Clone Sergeant. Um, and then will they give a rework to some of the other ones? But I don't know. What other Jedi teams do you think? Again, I'm focusing on the Clone Wars, Dark Side, Light Side, Geonosis, Territory Battles here. And what you think that they could do with them. Where are they going to go? Um, so let me know what you think about that. Like I said, there's not many other Separatists that... They can uh, really add to the game. Oh, geez, I have 36 minutes here. <sighs> well, we might as well do one. I I just despise these battles. I said it yesterday. I despise these battles. Yeah, yeah, your Darth Revan's going to go first. Then your Bastila's going to go, and I'm just... I, I get it. I get it. I, I farm... I spend almost 450 energy a night on, look at this, on mods, and I can't get a speed, and I, I've been doing speed mods for who knows how long. Oh, why did I do that? That was dumb. And, and see, this is what I can't stand. This battle was completely defined on speed. And like I said, for the last three months, I've been completely... Yeah, I get rid of him. I'll, I'll, I'll do a different battle here. For the last three months, I've completely been focusing on speed mods to get the best speed mods. I, can't, I, I haven't found one over 25. Let's try this one against Xandor, who's... A great guy. He uses the Marauder lineup, which he took them to gear. Th he took him to gear thirteen because the Marauder does amazing damage at gear thirteen. So you know when it comes. Ooh, nice! I get to do this. Ah, their Bastila went. So it's no use to use corrupted battle meditation right now. Let's get their Bastila out of here. I'm going to say, I want to get shock on people. Come on. Yes. Okay, good. Now, here's what. Ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We get it. We get it. We get it. Oh. Oh.
That's why they do that. I'm still kind of um, astonished at the hit that I just saw from Marauder there. God dang it. Come on, man. Come on. Probably should be taking HK out of here next. This will help. Okay, I got the victory there. Now I'll, I'll wait to refresh again until <laughs> everything's over. But that's what's frustrating. Yeah, I got to go first there, and I still just – I might have played that wrong. I'm not used to playing against that team. But <sighs> with Gear 13 characters. But anyways, let me know what you guys think. Again, I really wanted to talk about the territory battles here, what characters you guys think are coming. I want to know how you guys are coming farming the Separatist and Galactic Republic characters. I'm ready for this phase of the game. Again, I talk about my frustrations. I also have to talk about the positives. I like, I'm I'm ready to t uh, add to the uh, the Clone Wars uh, aspect and the prequel aspect of the characters as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash the subscribe button, like the video, click the notification bell so you can be alerted to all videos that I post. Also, I'm leaving a link to my Discord server, Patreon page, and Twitter page in the description below. Check all of those out, and of course, leave comments in the comment section, please. And I know some of you are going to complain about why I haven't used my energy. I'll get to that right now. Otherwise, peace out and may the force be with you.